I thought one thing that we could look at together is the way in which Paul mentors Timothy. I mean, what a great mentoring relationship. He really knew how to encourage that young man. And just as a starting point, I'd like to take what Paul says to Timothy, as is recorded in his first letter to him in chapter 6, where it says, But you, O man of God, flee these things and pursue righteousness. And then he goes on with the list. But let's just stick with that thought of fleeing from things. And flee is actually quite a strong word, isn't it? It's not just, just lay it aside and... It actually means run as fast as you can to get away from it. And it's great to think about making a clean break from some of these things. So it's not, uh, well, I'll run away from it today, but maybe it'll catch me up tomorrow. If, a, if a, an athlete in a race takes his tracksuit off, he doesn't expect the tracksuit to come chasing down the, the racetrack after him. It's something that he's left behind. And we need just to think for a moment about what Paul considers it's really important to leave behind. And top of the list that you find earlier on in this chapter is pride. You've really got to lay pride down. If you're trying to minister out of a spirit of arrogance, you're going to get nowhere and you're not going to help anywhere, anyone else get anywhere either. So let's lay aside pride. And then the second thing he talks about is laying aside the sort of disputes that you get into. You know, I want an argument about this and I'm, and you end up just sort of fighting over words and it, it, it just doesn't get anywhere and it's not helpful and he says just lay that aside as well and then he talks about those that think that um, the godliness itself is gain in some kind of way if it's all linked up and he, he begins to move us into thinking about where ministry and money get mixed up and he he wants us to come right away from that kind of thinking where it's all about uh, just going after the finance and he says that's just not the way it should be now I'm sure we could go on and list other things but those are the ones that Paul particularly concentrates on when he's talking to Timothy and I think that maybe during the course of this week it would be really good if we decide that we can look at our own life and our own ministry and ask ourselves first of all if we laid aside those things the pride the disputing the the out for gain and then maybe think of some of the other things that we need to lay aside and get to that point where we really feel that we're making those kind of decisions which take us forward, even though we know that although it might be a once and for all decision in our heart, it's something that we've got to be putting into practice on a daily basis. So take those things and let's make this thought stay with us during the week.